Pouncy house. We pounce and then we bounce. Hey guys, Pouncy here. Get your ears ready to rumble. <laughs> Pouncy house. We pounce and then we bounce. Here, hope you're having a good day. Um, I actually just am in between my appointments and uh, I turned on the news and uh, normally I'm not really a big news watcher but um, I do turn on the TV sometimes for Wilbur because he uh, he needs noise <laughs> so it's either music or it's something playing anyway um, and uh, I was just like whoa this story about Delta Airlines I don't know if you know about it um, I don't know the complete ins and outs but from the article and listening to the gentleman who was interviewed basically it seems like he came in onto the plane and then sat down not knowing he sat into fecal matter um got it on his shoes so it was around the chair this is when people are boarding the plane and he went over to the uh stewardess and said, you know, this needs to be cleaned up. He seemed like a pretty nice person in the interview. I mean, if you guys look at the interview, you'll understand. Someone who, like, is not very combative. <clears throat> you know, just kind of wants things to be easy. So, you know, you can just tell the energy of him. And uh, she basically came back and was disrespectful. Kind of like, um, well, you know, we don't have time right now or something like that. Like, like as if he overlooked what he basically was pointing out. I mean, this is not like water's in my chair. Even that's a pain in the ass. Who the hell wants to sit in water? To act like it's not a... it's. It, and then he was like, well, you know... And so anyway, a couple of the um, other uh, passengers joined in with him because she was kind of like abrasive and kind of like chalking him off like what he said didn't matter. And I got to tell you guys something. This is exactly what I said in my customer service um, video a couple days ago. However, I know it's really long, so sometimes it's hard to watch those things. But this is exactly what what's going on. It's like nothing that you can't say anything to anyone anymore about anything. It's like they have an attitude. They don't want to do their job. And Delta comes back and says, doesn't get interviewed, obviously. They come back with this little blurb and says, you know, uh, corporate, a typical corporate response is like, we care about all our passengers and we're really sorry that that happened and blah, blah, blah. No, there's no compassion. This guy said, man, I don't know if I have like, you know, because you sit in fecal matter. You don't know what is going on. And they were saying to him that it could have been a dog that was sitting there. Then he heard it was a, a human that was having some kind of, um, a, a man who was having some kind of illness. Then he found out it was a puppy. You know, and he was like, what's the right story? Like, they don't care. They don't want to know. They don't want to address it. But if you were calling them to tell them how wonderful they were, oh, they would be like with bells on listening. No one wants to hear anything anymore. And what it is, is man, that corrects your business. And this, this, to me, it's just appalling that this particular gentleman had to push the envelope so far that other passengers got involved because she was like, the, the stewardess said, you all need to take your seats because we're about to take off. And he said that they didn't give him anti, any antibacterial. He just gave him um, paper towels. I'm going to tell you something. I think there's something wrong with our planet. Like, I'm really, really... And when I say wrong with our planet, we know there's something wrong with the planet as far as weather patterns changing and debating climate change. But we're not going to get into that shit right now because that pisses me off. Because if we all had a 1% chance that we were contributing to climate change, maybe we should just do something about it and say, hey, maybe we should stop... Anyway, why am I getting into all that? Sorry. Ramble. Anyway, the point is that um, Delta did not take responsibility. Of course, the uh, the employee on the plane uh, is acting like you're making their life a living hell because you're just complaining about something that you should complain about. There's just, we have a really bad imbalance on this planet. And we have lost our sense of, 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 um, of uh, professionalism and realizing when you have a job that you don't treat someone like they're your neighbor. 
So I'm going to say this. Just like what that man did, and he had other people stand up next to him on the plane and say, you need to clean it up in so many words. Like, stand next to him and give him support. That's what we need to do when it comes to stuff going on. Whether you're out and about and you see that somebody's not doing their job, you stand up for them. If you come in 30 seconds after the conversation started and you see the, the customer upset, maybe you want to find out what happened before you start jumping down their throat. But if you witness something from the beginning all the way to the middle, it'd be nice for you to say, hey, you know what, maybe you should just do your job and understand that she just asked you to get this or he just asked you, could you do this? And that's it. Stand up for it. Because the more we stand up and the more we pull our cameras out, and I said this in my last video, and you videotape them, but you don't have to put it on their face. You can just put your camera on on and then you're like, okay, you can get slightly their face, but then you can get, what did you say? And then they re repeat it because, you know, believe me, they're ignorant enough that they don't even pay attention that your camera's on as long as you're not holding the camera up to their face. And then you go out and you say, this is the store I was in or this is the place I was in. And you put it online. That's the only way. And if you don't want to put it online, send it to Pouncy House. Just contact me. And I'm going to put my email below in this email, in this particular video. And um, hopefully, you know, you can reach out and I'm going to do a, a Pouncy House Facebook page. You can, you can reach out to me on there. But I just feel like, you know, if you don't want your, your name out there, you can put a fake name up and put a YouTube channel. You don't really need to put. But the thing is, is that you meta tag it. You put the, the keywords in that... Um, so people find it. So Delta Airlines. Oh, oh people will look up Delta. They're going to like, what? I never heard about this. This is terrible. So anyway, I just thought I'd explain this to people. I really was appalled when I saw this on television, on the news. And um, every day, man, it's something. So like I said, we're the ones that have the power. The people have the power to say, you know what? Big corporations, you need to change your policies. You need to train your employees better. And you need to respect the fact that the only way you're in business is because we're giving you our money. So maybe act, show your, uh, your employees to act like they care and not just chalk it off. So um, he said he wants to be heard and... He, I heard him today for sure, and I hope that they actually do respond to him and do something um, gracious to make him realize, to make him feel better. Seemed like a nice man. But anyway, Pouncey's out. Um, hope everyone's having a wonderful day. Sending you love and light. Peace. Pouncey house. We pounce and then we bounce. Coming through to a city near.